Hi, this is David Miles Huber, and I'm here today to talk to you about directionality of microphones. Uh, today I'm working with Neumann U87 condenser microphone, and right now it's set to omnidirectional. I'm talking in front of it at about a distance of a foot, and I am going to walk around the polar angles, uh, the 360 degree angles of the microphone, and you'll be able to hear how the microphone picks up a single uh, source at a foot's distance, walking all the way around it. And so right now I'm on omnidirectional, and omni picks up everywhere, so it should pick up my voice equally all the way around. So I'm going to basically start walking around from the zero axis, move off to the side, and I'm off at the 90 degree axis right now, and then I move around to the rear, and now I'm talking from behind the microphone, and it should pick me up just fine, exactly as, I, as if I were in front. Moving off to the 270-degree side, and, uh, and the pickup is all the way present, all the way around, and I'm back to the front of the microphone again. So that's an omnidirectional mic that picks up all the way around the mic in all directions. All right, now the microphone setting has been changed to cardioid, the heart-shaped response. And the uh, pickup is greatest in the front, and there is a little bit of rejection on the side, and its greatest rejection is in the rear. And then, the, uh, and then it begins to pick up as you get to the, towards the front again. So I'm zero axis, zero degrees axis, right on the microphone, picking up just fine. And I'm gonna start walking off to the side, off to 90 degrees, and it should have dropped off a little bit. The high end response should be a little bit down. Then I walk off to the rear, and this is where you get maximum rejection. So this is its rejection point. And, um, and then I start working off to the side, the 270 degree, where it starts to come back again, a little bit more presence. And then I move back to the front, where it's picking up the, uh, the voice or instrument or whatever sound source just perfectly. So that's with the cardioid. And now I'm talking into, a, uh, into the microphone that has a figure of eight or a bi-directional response, which, in which it picks up from the front and from the rear equally and rejects on the sides. So right now I'm talking from the front, zero degree angle, and the pickup is just fine and I start to move off to the side. And now in this situation, this is where the rejection is the greatest. And so there's, so there's very much less, re, uh, less pickup you're going to be hearing more of the uh, uh, sound of the room, the reverb of the room, etc. And then I move off to the back, and now I should be back totally present again, talking in the rear of the microphone. So now I'm basically on axis, 180 degrees, but I'm on axis still to the microphone. Start to move off to the side to the 270 degree point, back to that rejection. You start hearing the room sound again a lot more. And then you come back to the, uh, to the center pickup and, uh, and it uh, is on axis. So this is with the um, bi-directional microphone. So we've gone through the three directions of a, of a microphone. And this is often with a condenser microphone that you can change these directionalities, uh, sometimes with a, a ribbon microphone. But the three directionalities are omnidirectional, where it picks up all the way around, a cardioid, which is the most common really, where it picks up in the front and then rejects as you get around to the rear, maximum rejection at the rear, and then a bi-directional or figure of eight where the directionality is towards the front and towards the rear, and the rejections are off to the side. And these, uh, these placements allow you to use the, the directionality basically as a tool of where you're going to pick up the sound, what sounds do you want to reject, how do you want to place it, how much reverb in the room. There are all these different factors and all these different variabilities that go into directionality. So thank you very much for listening to, uh, to, uh, to my talk.